Nest.js is a relatively new tool that exists in the Angular ecosystem for building backends that feel just like your front ends. My name is Stephen Fluin, and today on Demos with Angular, I want to show you how to use Nest.js and add it into an existing Angular project to get a whole bunch of benefits, everything from server-side rendering to an integrated backend that you can build and serve at the same time as your front end. Let's take a look. So Nest.js is a really great tool, and what they've done is they've actually created a bunch of schematics that allow us to ng-add Nest.js into an existing Angular application. So as you can see, this is a normal Angular application that we actually created in version 7 and then updated to version 8, but it works in version 7. It should work just fine in version 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run ng-add at Nest.js slash ng-universal. What this is going to do is this is going to go download the Nest.js ng universal package and then run the schematics to update my application. So if we take a look at our folder structure here, we're going to see the creation of a new folder. And so that folder is going to be, uh, as soon as we give it the name of our application, it will then wire into that same project in our Angular JSON file and it will create a matching server folder. So as soon as those schematics are running, you're going to see that it's going to update the server file. It's going to update a TS config for the server file. And we can see all of this right here. And so what this is, is this is just a micro installation of Angular Universal configured with Nest.js. So Nest.js looks a lot like Angular. So instead of an ng module, they have a Nest.js module that is actually the thing that's going to be wiring up our application in terms of being able to server side render, serve out that browser client side application, building it for live reload. And it's using the Angular Universal module, which just wraps all of the work that the Angular team has done with uh, ng Universal. And then we can see our main file here, which is our services configuration. And you can see that it's already set up a global prefix called API. And we'll just switch this port over to 4200. And so what we can do is if we actually want to take a look at this, we can just CD into the server folder. So what I can do here is I can actually install the Nest.js CLI, yarn global add at Nest.js CLI. And this will allow me, just like I do with the Angular CLI, where I scaffold out new parts of my application, I can do the same thing with my services layer. So I can say nest generate controller. So we can say nest generate controller here, and I'll give it a name like hello. And what will happen is this will automatically create a hello controller. And you can think about this as a API endpoint. So within my hello controller, I can do something like create a get command. And so this is a, a get all method. And so that'll maybe I'll just return I'll just return a little hello world message. And then this will automatically get wired up into the hello API path. And so if we jump down to the terminal here and I go back to my root, I can actually just say yarn serve because one of the things that Nest did is it actually set my application up for watching of both the back end for the API and for the front end of my application. And so all these builds should finish successfully. And then what we can do is when we look at our application, we're not only going to get the same application we were working with before. If you take a look at the source that it gives you, you'll actually see that it is doing a server side rendering of that source. And not only that, we can have at the same time as our front end, we should be able to see our back end. So I've just performed a GET request to our API hello API endpoint, and I get out the exact status that I gave it. So we, we with these few very, very small changes by adding Nest.js into our application, we get an integrated front end, back end with server side rendering, which still is just amazing to me because this is the dream, right? This is building a single application from a single code base. We've just taken a look at how to add Nest.js into an existing Angular project and some of the benefits that it gives. Feel free to give that a try and let me know what you think. Thanks and see you in the next one.